I'm gonna give you lots of tips to style your table today. The holidays are, of course, right around the corner and everybody's getting ready, right? For most of us, it's the first time we've been entertaining, whether we're doing that in small groups or yep. big groups, probably small, because we're just kind Getting of back rolling back into it, yeah. right? But we're all looking forward to it. So today we're working with our friends at the Home Depot, of course, uh, and the most amazing event planner and designer like ever, oh. uh, Jove Meyer. So the holidays are such a fun time to gather, but they also can sometimes come with a lot of stress, right? And we want to avoid stress in the holidays. Especially after a pandemic, Jove. Especially <laughs> after a pandemic, right? Yes. So for holidays, step number one, I'm gonna give you lots of tips to style your table today. Number one is all about preparation. Yes. Whatever we can do ahead of time, let's do it ahead of time. Most of us have a dining room table that we don't really eat eat at. So why not set your table two or three days in advance? I was just going to say my mom yeah. always did this. So then that way you put out all your cutlery, all your china. You can and you play know with if everything. you're short, two spoons. Absolutely. So right? you can go shopping or borrow from a friend. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I love your mom. And tip number two is color and pattern. You know me. I love... Uh we can't tell, Joe. Do you like color? No. <laughs> so holidays are all about joy, and what is a better way to show joy than through color? Right. And I think sometimes people feel locked in that their holiday has to be one of two colors or two or three colors. No. But I'm here to say every color is joyful, and mix and match your colors. Here we did that in napkins, yes. so yellow and red, and we alternated, which I thought and was super fun. And mix it up, people. Yeah, you don't have to do all yellow or all red. And then we also did it with candles, so we have pink, blue, purple, and we stacked the different heights. So color is a big, fun way to make this more magical. Another fun thing is a napkin fold. It's yes. really easy just to fold the typical way, one, two, flip over. Yep. But what I'd love to do is actually maybe a little napkin off. I don't know if you want to do it with us, John. Can you do a napkin? I can do a napkin. Do you want to fold a napkin? a napkin? Let's see who can fold a napkin. So here you are. Everyone take a napkin. Okay. We're going to grab two corners and make a triangle. Yep. And then basically, you're just gonna go crazy for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And then you just tie a knot. Ooh. Look at how much texture we just added in 10 oh, that's seconds. that's awesome. We got a workout and it was so fun. It was fun. The other thing I want to talk about is a faux pas when setting your dinner table. Okay. There's nothing I hate worse than when I want to see your beautiful face. The thing I don't want is something blocking my view. That's right. So the rule is, I'm sure your mom would say never to do this, never put your elbows on the table. Yes. But we want to do an elbow check. You put your elbow on the table, and you want to make sure you have no decor that's big or bulky above your above fist. Above the top So that of you your don't fist. block the eye line that's your eye of line. your guests. Yes. Candles are fine because they're tall and skinny, and flowers are pretty, so we make an exception. One of our last tips is a placemat. It's a really fun way to make it festive and, and exciting. You know, I noticed this immediately, Joe, because this added texture and depth. Yes, absolutely. It added some depth to the table. And protection. If you have sloppy eaters or kids and so what we've done here is you can take wallpaper and we just cut it to size oh my god he made holiday placemats yes. it's really amazing and this the metallic is so fun on this because it's textured it also gives you that celebratory vibe that's perfect for the I holidays i really love that look around your house for existing knickknacks and tchotchkes or gifts like these ducks as you see I here love them. Right? You wouldn't necessarily think if you had a duck on a shelf, you want to put it on your holiday table, but you need to, right? It's so fun. And these apples, you know, these are, could be apples or pumpkins. Don't be afraid. Everyone has stuff at home. Especially if you're in New York home. City, the big apple. Very sweet. And the most amazing thing ever, Rachel, is everything here on this table is from HomeDepot.com. The wow. Home Depot is the center of our world for many, many, yep. many months. It's where, I have said this publicly before, it is where we trained our dog to learn about the world because... We adopted her during a pandemic. She is most fond at the Home Depot. She loves going shopping. Of the Home mirror Depot. aisle, and she likes to look at herself. Oh my God. <laughs> I named her Bella, so. You created she it. She thinks she's, I yeah, created, she created a, a little monster. So their online store has all home products and holiday gifts that are perfect for your friends and family. They're always affordable and they get them to you They have the you best brands and collections at affordable prices. And they have free and flexible delivery with in-person or online returns. So it's perfect for those busy holiday seasons. They're, they're your buddies. They're, they're amazing. Your You're my buddy. Oh my gosh. You're my friend. You.